Well, hello, bead friends. So as of today, I have nine days till vacation. So you're gonna get sick of me counting down, I'm sure of it, but um, I'm excited. So uh, we are going to make a necklace. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I wanna make it. So we're just gonna try. So I'm, we're gonna make a necklace from um, Bargain Bead Box Blooming Branches. So um, I want it to be kind of like a big piece um, a big statement-y piece, I guess, um, but not too statement-y, if you know what I mean. Um, so we're going to just kind of mess around with it and see if I can bring something to life. I picked out everything I want to see in it, plus um, I went through my uh, bargain beat box and I have a, like a couple things. I only have a few things left, so they need to be worked in there somewhere. I don't want to put them in um, my bead soup. So we're gonna see what we can do with that. And um, besides maybe a couple pairs of earrings and maybe another bracelet, we're almost done with this box. So I use a lot of beads on the pieces that I made. So they're very bead heavy. Um, so I didn't skimp on anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I have some stuff from my own stash and I'll tell you what came from my own stash and that way you know what was not in the box. All right, I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, everyone, I'm back, and I have some things here. So I'm going to go through. I have the bags in my hand just so I don't make a mistake when I'm telling you what we have here. So the first thing that, first one that's in my um, my hand are these little 4 by 3 millimeter Malaysia Jade dyed quartz in the color Amethyst. So we have those. That's all I have left. Um, the beads that you see here, those styles of beads is all I have left of those kinds. So I don't have a ton left. I pretty much have like bicones left, I think, after this. So, but we'll we'll see what happens. And then we have the eight millimeter rose quartz. And these are from my own stash. So these little spacers. I just dumped a whole little bag in there. And um, you know, you can find these anywhere. I I believe these may have come from Amazon. I may have gotten them from Amazon. Um, oh, there's like a, there's a rogue one in here. It's bigger. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So anyway, um, those came from my own stash. And then we have the six millimeter citrine round beads. And then we have the crystal fasted rondelle beads in the grapevine mix. So this is all I have left of that little, little guy. And we have the pressed flower glass beads. Um, these came from my own stash, but they did come from Beadbox Bargains, I believe, last year. And I thought they would look really good with this, too, with to match the citrine. So I thought I'd grab them. And then we have the faceted rondelle beads in Peridot Green Iris. I have three left because they were probably my favorite bead in this whole thing. And I use all of them except for those three. And we have the 8mm Mountain Jade in violet we have those and the last thing that we're using from the bargain bead box are these nine by five crystal faceted round beads in light rose um, this little guy came from my own stash i believe i got it from auntie's beads um, a while back um, but we're going to use one of the leaf toggles as well from the box i have this little tiny chunk of um, chain left from a previous um, project that I did. And this, I believe, was um, reaction chain or chain reaction from Jesse James Beads. So I figured we use that. And it has that, you know, the, the um, rose color uh, crystal in it. So I thought that would be perfect. I have some bead caps for my own stash because I only had two of the little leaf ones left and I don't know where I put them. So I found these, they're just like a little, almost like a little filigree. And I believe these came from um, the beads and supply um, place I order from some of my findings online on Facebook. And I've shared that information in the past and I can surely share that again if you guys are interested. Uh, I also have these little leaf charms that I got from uh, bead, bead box bargains probably last summer too that I thought maybe we could incorporate into our design. So I have head pins, eye pins, 
I have jump rings. We're gonna use this soft flex beading wire in fluorite and it's medium. I don't have a lot of it left, but I do have another spool on standby. So that's a good thing. All right, so let's go ahead and let's make some way here because I wanna kind of figure out what I wanna do. I know this is going to be a big part of my design. I know that I think I wanna do this on the side, do the toggle like on the side of the, with the, with this chain reaction going around the back. And let's see, making some room, making some room. And I think I want this to be our focal. And um, I believe we could probably do some like little dangly pieces, but I really want to put these, a couple of these big um, pink beads in it like this, and then maybe have like a little dangly piece coming out the bottom. Um, these are very malleable, so you can kind of pinch them closed a little bit more, which is nice, or you can open them up super wide. I mean, depending on what you want to do with it, they're, they're very, very flexible and malleable. So let's, um, we're going to try to plan something with that. Let's mess around with that real quick and see how we can make that work. Cause we know, we know what the back of our necklace is going to look like and the side, cause this is going to be on the side. So now we just need to figure out what the center of our necklace will be. So let's take a peek at that real quick and see what we need to do. So we definitely need a head pin. This one's kind of, I'll just straighten that little guy out later, put him off to the side. We definitely need an eye pin. So let's go ahead and feed a couple of these beads on this eye pin and just stick it through here. Okay, do you see how that looks? It kind of looks like it's like a flower with a little thing in the center, right? And we can still just kind of smush down these sides a little bit more just to make it a little more condensed. And it, it'll work out just fine like that. Um, the one thing you want to know when you do buy these large, like a tassel bead caps or whatever they are, um, you do want to stick a little bead at the top here because this will move around a lot and that's a really giant hole. So we're just going to take one of our little teeny tinies and we're going to just stick that little guy from our grapevine mix right over the top. And it's like the perfect size to fit and plug that hole right up. You see that? It's not going to go through the hole, but it just sits super nice in there. So this is nice and tight. We want this to stay tight. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and do a... I think we're gonna to try to do a wrap loop. It's gonna be kind of a small wrap loop, but that's okay. It'll just kind of be snugger. It's easier to do a snugger um, loop if we do it that way. Like I said, it's gonna be really tiny, barely a wrap loop. Okay, so there, there it is. And now we just wanna kind of tighten that down and wrap that down what little bit of room we have for it. So you can tell Chris is back because it got, <laughs> got some videos out there. Um, <laughs> I've been uh, also trying to post a little bit on my Facebook account. Oh, I just broke that bead. Oh, see, that's not going to work out very well. All right, so let's, let's try something else. I'm going to grab some wire because I think we're going to end up making our own bigger eye pin. Let me just grab that real quick so I don't break anything else. Okay, so if you don't have a long enough eye pin, because I don't buy the different size eye pins, I pretty much stick to the same size. I do buy some of the really tiny ones sometimes, or the really teeny tiny head pins, but we're going to make our own head pin out of this wire. All right, so I'm using 18 gauge soft flex craft wire. 
So I'm going to just cut off a nice big chunk here because we can always trim off what we don't need. And the bottom of this, we're just going to do like a regular, um, like a regular loop. So I'm just going to bend that over to the side. And I want my loop to be a good decent size because it's going to be the bottom part of my my flower where the beads come out. And just like so. Now we have our own eye pin. Let's go ahead and put our beads on. There we go. And our oversized bead cap. <laughs> So we got that on there. Now this might be too thick for those. So let's go ahead and do one of these little purple ones here. Cause that won't be too thick there. And that'll look pretty. And now we can do a really good wrap on here. It won't be a teeny teeny tiny one. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. There's my eye pin part and let's do the wrap loop here. Try not to float off camera. So I have a minor injury, and yes, it is a unicorn band-aid because my husband knows that deep down inside me, there's still 10-year-old Jody that loves her unicorns and um, little girly things like Hello Kitty and stuff like that. Those are things that I'll never outgrow. I've been a unicorn fan since I was little and a Hello Kitty fan since I was little, and I'll always be a fan of those things. So there we go. And now we can trim that off. That went a lot better than trying to use a silly old head pin. All right, now we can just straighten this out. And carefully, Jody, so you don't crack that bead too. I pulverized that other bead. It was like, it was done. All right. So there is our center of our necklace and it's nice and firm. It's not going to go anywhere and that's going to look really cute. All right, so let's move everything aside and let's kind of look at what we want to do here. So we have a lot of options. We really do. So the one thing I want to do is I do want to hang these cute little bell flowers from our, from our little focal because they're really precious. And I think that I wanna just do a couple of them and maybe end with a bead. So maybe this rose quartz bead. Maybe like this. And it's just gonna be like a, a long focal. So now this one we can use our, our head pins that we have. And we can also use our, our head pin and our eye pins that we have. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am struggling for words today. Okay, so we have that. And the thing is with this one, I do, on my bottom one, I do want to put a pretty little um, bead cap on the bottom just to make it super feminine, super pretty. And with these, we're just gonna go ahead and do a simple loop. These are really thick head pins. And I did get these from Beadbox Bargains. Um, they're, they do put the um, gauge of, you know, the head pins and eye pins that they're selling. So I tend to go for some of the ones that are really, really easy to, um, that you can do the wrap loops with. And then I also go with some that are really strong that you can do a simple loop with, just so I have some options. Because sometimes I don't, I don't want a wrap loop because it just adds a little extra length that I sometimes don't want. All right, so let's go ahead and put this little guy on. But let's put a little, we need to put a little something on there. So we have these little beads. Let's do the little purple one here, just like that. Just so there's something peeking out of the bottom. And we can do the same thing with this one, just bend it straight over. Cut some off. 
So I'm also doing a countdown at work for my <laughs> vacation. And I think people are getting tired of hearing it, but I don't care. They're gonna just keep hearing it from me. I've been waiting for a vacation for a good two years. We didn't do vacation last year because of, um, you know, uh, Xander graduating high school and we just didn't have time. And plus when someone's graduating, you just don't have the money to really do things like that. So last one we went on was Virginia Beach and it was it was phenomenal. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it was it was pretty great. All right, so there's that one. And then the same thing with this, we're just gonna bend that over, trim that off. There we go. And roll it back. So I'm, I'm gonna talk about it until I go and then I'll talk about it when I come back about how much fun I had. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna be great. So, all right. Now let's go ahead and connect all these. So I wanted this one to go next. And you know, this might actually even be something for my mom. We went to church last Sunday, and um, she says, "Do you see my shirt I'm wearing?" And I said, "Yeah, I like it. It's really pretty." She just got herself a couple new blouses, which. She really needed it. She never buys anything for herself. And it's so nice when I see her, you know, get something pretty for herself. It makes her feel, you know, really good and everything. Plus that way she has something new to wear to church or if she wants to go to a nice dinner or lunch or something, she's got something cute to wear. Um, but anyway, the shirt was really pretty and the colors were like pretty much everything that this bargain bead box was. So she's probably, after I do the showcase, gonna get some of this jewelry. All right, so this is what our, our little focal is going to look like here. I think that's going to look really cute. It's just like a bunch of like little flowers hanging down to the bottom. Hi, Cheeto. Did Daddy let you in? He opened the door so quietly I didn't even hear him open the door. So we got a really weird, it was a short-lived rainstorm today, but it was like, really weird. Hi, buddy. Okay, he's crossing over, guys. There he goes. Okay, just an orange blur. <laughs> oh, you know, there's like this whole room that you can walk in and he's like, I'm going to cross right over your workspace. He's like such a little ham. All right, let's get out some of these beads so we can see what we want to do with these. Oh, picked the wrong end of this. There we go. Yeah, some of these purple ones. These purple ones are such a pretty color. I know I've said that already like a million times, but they really are. They're super pretty. Okay, so we have some of those. We're gonna probably end up using the rest of those. We will need some of these. I really would like to use all of these flowers that I have. It would be really nice to use all those. A little bit of a stash buster here. And we need some pink quartz. The rose quartz, I mean pink quartz. Jeez, Jody. Okay. And we're going to also, I know we're going to probably want to use some of these really pretty little rhinestone rondelles. Let's grab those. We're going to see if there's something we can do with these leaves. If not, no biggie. They can go right back into my stash. Not even a big deal. And we have all these little grapevine mix beads, which I like those too quite a bit. All right. So we know how we want this to be. Now it's just a matter of um, like, how do I want to build this up, right? So let's get our wire. And I'm gonna measure this probably a little bit longer. Let me see. And then I'll give you guys the measurement once I'm done putting it on me. Okay, so we won't need a lot because we do have the back part of the chain. So I'm gonna take off I'm here and then let me grab my tape measure and then I'll measure that for you so you can see what I have cut off doesn't mean we're going to use it all doesn't mean we're going to use it all but we but we can at least cut it off 
So let me grab my tape measure real fast. It's just right behind me. Okay. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, so we have almost 27 inches. It's like a quarter inch shy of 27 inches. So um, it's, it's quite a bit of string, knowing that we're not gonna use it for around the back, but that's okay. So we can always cut some off if we don't need it all. So let's go ahead and put our focal piece on here, because we're gonna just string that right on like he's a bead, no jumpering needed. We did that nice wire wrapped loop and that's all we need. And then let's go ahead and do some of these, like I wanna use a couple of these little green ones in this mix. My hands are a little shaky today, you guys. Um, my, <laughs> I was a little late taking my medication and I think I waited a little bit too long. I did eat, so don't worry about that, I'm fine. It's just when I first take my medicine, it kind of does like um, a weird thing to me, but it'll smooth out in a second. All right, so there we go. So we have some little green starting here, which I really like. And I do love using these like little teeny tiny beads right in the middle like that. It just kind of feels like it gives it like a little jump start to um, what this is going to be. So there's those. And then I really would like to maybe, I wanna see what these look like if I use them as kind of like a bead cap. So let me put this on here, facing in that direction. Okay, and then I wonder if I actually did use a bead cap inside of it. What would that look like? Well, you can't really see it, so that'd be a waste of a bead cap. So let's not do that. If I had, if I used a bigger bead cap, we'd be able to see it. That's okay. All right. Oh, unless I do this, now I could always put like a little bead inside there, like that, and then bead cap. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna like that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like that. Okay, let's let's try that. If it doesn't work out, it's not a big deal. We're stringing as easy as it goes on, it can come right off. All right. So let's do this little bead cap here. And then let's do, let's go right into these big guns. These are great. So pretty. All right. Those are the sparkliest beans <laughs> ever. They're so sparkly. I absolutely love them. And then let's finish that one off with a bead cap. And I wonder if I should just do the same thing, kind of make it like it's its own little segment here. Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Come on, there we go. And on that side. There. Oh, I'm gonna like that. That's gonna look really adorable. And yeah, I think my mom is gonna end up getting this necklace because I think she'll absolutely love it. And then let's just end these with a couple of these little green ones because I want to keep this green kind of going through because I don't have a lot of the other green left and I really want this to look, you know, flower garden-ish. All right, there we go. That's cute. That's going to be really cute. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now let's do... We need, let's do some purple because we need some purple in there, right? So let's do one of these. Maybe we'll do one of these really pretty rhinestone rondelles in there and maybe another purple. 
Let's make this shiny, 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 sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. Sometimes I'm not a big fan of the super sparkly stuff, but sometimes when I wanna use sparkle, I go all out and I use all the sparkle. Okay, so then I really want these green ones to be seen and I do, I am gonna have one left. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that, but I do have one left. Um, let's use these right here past, past this, um, these purple ones. And I think we'll just go ahead and put them right on. And that way there's nothing covering it. There's nothing beside it except for this purple and it'll really kind of stand out and pop. Yeah, I like that. That looks really cute. All right, and then let's, I wonder if we should use these bellflowers. What are you doing, Cheeto? Do you want out? I think he wants out, guys. I'll be right back. Would you look out, buddy? There you go. There you go, Mr. Man. His sister isn't in here, so, and he doesn't feel like laying down yet, so he wanted out. Okay. All right, so we have that. And then let's go ahead and put a little purple bead inside there. I really like using these in this manner. That's It's really kind of cute like that instead of just dangles. And then let's do the same thing we did earlier with that little bead cap. And let's use these big, beautiful crystals that we have. And another little purple one. So my brother needed to borrow a lawnmower the other day because he got um, his, his and mom's lawnmower out and it wasn't working. Okay, I don't like that one like that. So I think no. All right, so I don't know. I don't know. I like it, but you know, what? let's not. Let's not do that. I'm sorry. All right, let's change our minds. I don't want to do that. Okay, so let's put that aside. Let's try this again. So we have the green ones on there. Anyway, so my brother borrowed our lawnmower and when he returned it, he cut our grass for us. And I'm like, I'm like, Jimmy, thank you. You didn't have to do that, but he did. And it was so sweet. He did the front yard and the backyard. And he said, well, you know, you let me use your lawnmower. And I'm like, well, yeah, of course I'll let you use my lawnmower, but it doesn't mean you have to, you know, cut my grass. I mean, but it was so sweet that he did that. and. You know, I had to find something to do for him to like kind of pay it forward and, you know, just do something nice for him too because he also works so hard and he's um, been in the middle of trying to get the kids with him full time. And um, they're at the point where they are old enough to make that decision and they want to come here and be here. They live in Florida. But um, any of you who've ever been through stuff like that, you know, it's, it's quite difficult. And um, so many airplane going overhead, guys, sorry. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. Um, anyway, you know that it's a very delicate thing, right? So, you know, the kids, um, it has to be very delicate for the kids. So I don't wanna go into too much detail on here about it, but um, just know that um, it, it is what it is. You know, we're, we're just trying really hard to get them here because they want to be here with their dad. And, um, and it'd be nice for me to be able to see them all the time whenever I wanted to, my niece and my nephew. So just, uh, if you could keep them in your prayers that, um, that they have peace during this whole transition and, and that they're not stressed. I mean, the last thing that children need is to feel any stress in that manner. So um, just if you could keep them in your prayers. All right. I'm thinking, you guys, I don't know. I like this. I don't think I want these on here yet, or maybe at all. 
So let's, let's, let's go ahead and do, take those off. <laughs> See, this is what happens. Like I, I, it happens no matter what. I can't even say that. I can't say this is what happens. It happens no matter what. I can come here and come in this room and say, this is what we're doing and then totally change it. Or I can come in here and say, I have no idea what I'm doing and halfway through it still don't know what I'm doing. All right, so let's just string on one of these little white ones here. I just gotta keep checking the camera, make sure I'm still on there. Did you guys know I have a tendency to float off sometimes, especially when I'm like trying to think too hard. And then let's do one of these darker purple ones and another one of these little white ones. Okay, there we go. I think that's what I needed. I needed something tiny in here. All right, so a little teeny tiny white one. Oh my goodness, Jody! you can do it, you can do it. There we go. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna bead all the way up because I think I want some of this green to show but I do want to bead up quite a ways because I really would like to show off more beads. I really do want to use these bell flowers. I'm trying to think of how I could do it without, without me feeling like I don't like it. All right, so let's do some more of these citrine beads. Nice big chunk of these citrine beads. So let's do one here. Let's kind of mimic what we had going on down here. Let's do the bead caps. This time they're going to be facing down. that and one more bead cap so last night I opted to not go to trivia with my husband and he took Will and it was 90s movie night and I'm like you know I'm not really good at the whole movie thing anyway like knowing names of actors and you know everything else or lines from movies and stuff. I mean, I have some movies that, I mean, we just, our family, we quote constantly because it's it's our favorite movies and stuff. And he sends me a text and he says, well, we're done. He says, and I'm going to ask you a question. I already turned all my stuff in, so it's not, you know, cheating or anything. You can't change his answer. He said, do you know who, what the name of the alias was that, Andy used in Shawshank Redemption. And I'm like, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, yeah, I think I do. Because Shawshank Redemption is one of my favorite movies. It's a really good movie. Um, so I texted him back. I said, I think it's Randall Stevens. And so he sent me a text back. He said, well, if you're right, and I drop out of first place and go to second place, then I'm going to be mad. He said, laugh out loud. He really wouldn't be mad. He said, but if you're wrong and I'm right, then I'll be in first place. So I said, all right, well, let me know. And so he texted me back and he's like, well, we're in second place. You were right. And I'm like, are you serious? How did I remember that? But then again, I do watch it probably several times a year. I mean, it is really one of my favorite movies. Um, if you haven't watched it, it's good, and you should watch it. It's really, really good. So let's see. There we go. There are some movies that will always be like my favorite movies that I will watch over and over. Um, I'll watch Footloose over and over. I'll watch Dirty Dancing over and over. I will watch um, Braveheart. Tombstone, um, Shawshank Redemption. I mean, there's, I will just constantly, I will watch them as many times as they come on. And then there's even like some scary movies that I'll watch constantly. And, you know, if they come on, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm watching this, even though I've seen it a million times. But I, um, <laughs> yeah. So he, they got in second place. I really am trying to figure out how I'm going to use those bellflowers because I really would like to use them. 
Let me see if I did it just like that. That just makes it look like it's wearing a hat and it just looks weird. Okay, you know, we're just gonna give up on those. We're not gonna use those. All right, but instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do some of these, this rose quartz here. So let's go ahead and grab that. Actually, let's do some, yeah, let's do the rose quartz. And we're just gonna put that one right on there. And instead of doing that sparkle, let's do the bead caps. And we're gonna have them facing up. Just like so. And it's just one in the middle. So apparently I'm good at remembering aliases on movies. Don't ask me why, but I, apparently I am. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And I like the way this is turning out. I know for sure that we are not going to use these in this design, and that's okay. We used one. We used one right here, and it's really cute. So we're fine. I can use these for some earrings. I'm good to go. All right, and then let's go ahead and do these, a couple, like one of these, and we're also gonna bead cap that. Just a nice big chunky bead sitting right there. All right, and then same for the other side. These little filigree bead caps are so pretty. I, I can't remember when I got them, but I, I'm i almost positive that I, I got them from um, Bead and Jewelry Supply on Facebook. Karen Gillespie, she is fantastic. And she always finds, she has the cutest findings and such a reasonable pricing and everything. So if you, I know that she, she reached out to me and she said, thank you for sending people my direction. Um, you know, so I know some of you guys have found her and, you know, was, we're probably ordering from her. So she's, she's fantastic. I haven't placed an order with her in a little while because I had been stocked up, but I know I am running out of my little teeny tiny, um, bead caps and stuff that I love so much. All right. So I'm going to put a little green one here and then let's go right into these purple. I love that green right next to that purple. It's so cute, so pretty. And then maybe here is where we're gonna use some, the little sparkle in between because that's what we did down there. And I think it'll look cute. It'll just bring it up again. Oops, almost forgot. then purple again there we go all right so we're getting some good length here and I think I'm going to go up just a little bit more not too much more but I definitely want to use some more of the rose quartz in there so we're going to do that too but first I want to put another green one here on each side I think we're gonna have enough to do a bracelet too with all these which would be great and then let's do one of these little purple jade ones Oops. And another green one. Oh, it's white. It's like that. And here we go. And there we go. All right, and now let's use some of these rose quartz. I only have five of them left. That's that's crazy. I went through a lot of those. All right, and I think that we're gonna also put between them some more sparkle. And we definitely are getting close to the end of our necklace here. So I'm gonna wanna think about finishing this off and figure out how I wanna hang it exactly. So we'll get it figured out. All right, so there's our rose quartz. There we go. And 
here. I just want to see where that is. It's right there. Okay. And then I think right here is where we're going to end it. So let's go ahead and put this little purple guy on here and one on this side too. All right. And now I'm just going to scoop up all this stuff and get it out of our way. So we have some single beads. We got some, you know, um, we call them single ladies. You can do like a little Beyonce thing. There's our little single ladies, but we will find a use for them. Don't you worry. We will find something to do with them. And we can put that over here. We didn't end up using these, but that's okay. You know what? If we end up making a bracelet to match it, we will use it then. And I think we'll also be able to use our other bellflowers on a bracelet too. So I think that that's going to be perfect. All right. So let me just get these out of the way and then we'll um, finish this up. Oh, hold on one second, guys. I'll right back. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. I am back. All right, so I'm going to grab out a couple crimp tubes because we need those. And we're going to put our necklace together. All right, so let's start with the side here. I'm not going to put on a wire guardian because I think it'll be okay. So let's just go ahead and just string this right on here. I want it to be as seamless as possible. All right, and then we can go ahead and, let me just, what am I doing? I'm gonna make that way too, way too long of a tail. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I'm new at this. All right, okay, so we have a little tail here and we're just going to slide that right up. And see, it just makes such a nice little loop. And I like the, the little bit of green sitting there. And we did beat all the way up on this, but that's okay. I don't mind that we did that. Whoop. Slippery. There we go. All right, and then let's just pull some of these beads up over our little tail. If I can, if it'll fit through. Oh yeah, it's been through, okay. And there we go, and one more bead, just up over our tail. We don't have to trim it off that way. And then we can just let gravity do it and move it on down, all right. Okay, so that's gonna be really cute. Oh, I almost lost our little, our little guy there. All right, so here we need to, we're gonna to wanna to string it through this. So put our, our little crimp tube on first and then string the necklace through the little toggle. Uh, let me just flip it over so you can see. The little toggle um, hole right there. And then we will string this tail through our crimp tube and a couple beads. Gonna get it to cooperate. It doesn't fit through the purple one very well. It's very snug. So let's just go through just this one bead here because we'll trim it off really close to the bead and it won't matter. All right. So now we're just going to pull gently and making sure we still leave a little bit of space here, but not too much because we kind of want this to look pretty seamless, right? And that does look pretty seamless. So let's go ahead and crimp it right there where we have it. Oh wait, what am I doing? We gotta pull it down further. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm losing my mind. I am losing it. I'm glad I saw that big space before I started doing that. All right, so that gets pulled down, and now that's nice and snug. And then this can get pulled the rest of the way. Goodness. It's a little tight fit to that crimp tube, too. It's going to take me a minute to get this all worked out here. I think it's just getting hung up on that purple bead, honestly. I can move that. 
Oh my goodness, you know what? We're not even gonna deal with that right now. I am not even about that struggle today. Let's just take that out of there. And let's just gently pull this down. There we go. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I hope you guys are giggling because I know you've felt that frustration before where you're like, I know what I want it to do and it's not doing it. All right, let's go ahead and crimp this little guy down. All right. I have to say, like, this is something I probably never could have done as a as a teenager or as a kid because my patience as a teenager was so thin. Like I <laughs> I would not be able to do it. There'd just be no way. I would lose my mind and I would probably be throwing things. I was I was a tantrum thrower, you know, and like <laughs> I don't know. I was just kind of I was just kind of moody and cranky sometimes and um, I guess just like a hormonal teenager and I would throw things I would throw my stuff like I would never throw anybody else's stuff and I would never throw anything at somebody but if I was mad I would toss it on the ground I can't tell you how many times I broke a hairbrush because my hair wasn't coming out right as a teenager and I would get so mad I'd fling it across the room and then my brush would break <laughs> like it's so dumb and of course my my parents are like, you broke it, you buy one because we're not spending our hard-earned money on something that you are going to break. And so that kind of that kind of broke me of that habit. And then for some reason, when I had my daughter, my patients, I mean, God must have known that I needed help with my patients because he gave me so much patience. <laughs> like I now have like the patience of a saint that my mom says which is funny because it's not something I ever would have had. Okay, so there is our necklace. I am going to go ahead and turn this around and we'll try it on real quick. I'm gonna remove my other jewelry real fast. And then um, I might do a second video real quick and do um, a bracelet. So I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so here it is. We have the um, cute little leaf. And it's beaded up through here. Oops, a little twister there. And then the bottom looks like that. And it just kind of hangs there. Let me see if I put this blue over top. Sorry about my work sweater, guys. There we go. And now you can see the color so much better. That looks really cute. All right, so there we go. That's what it looks like. And I think that turned out really pretty. And the little thing gets flipped around sometimes, but I think I could figure out how to make that stay facing that one way. I think maybe I have to play around with it a little bit. Anyone have any tricks of the trade, let me know because I always like that. So there's our necklace and I think I have time. It's only 6.30 here. So I think I have time I can whip out a bracelet real quick. So I'm gonna do another video. So um, I'll let Chris know to kind of like let these out back to back so you guys can see the next one right away. All right, everyone, I hope you have a really blessed night and I will see you in the same outfit in just a few minutes. Bye. Okay, I told you I'd be back. So I'm back for the bracelet. I decided to go ahead and we would make the uh, matching bracelet for the necklace I'm wearing tonight. So um, if for some reason that... Um, this video, you didn't see this video, go back to that so you can see me make this pretty necklace. Really cute. And we're going to do some of the same things um, with this bracelet. And I actually have another silver one of these. It's my last one left. So we're gonna use that guy. Um, again, these, I believe I got these in gold and silver um, on Auntie Speeds. And um, I think they were on clearance, so I'm not sure if they still have them or not. Um, you can definitely double check. It's just aunties, like, you know, your aunt, you know, auntiesbeads.com, and just go and look at their findings. I'm sure that you can even put in, like, bead cap, and it would probably pop up. So we're going to go ahead and make the matching bracelet real quick. 
And then I think we're gonna to get to the point where we're almost at a showcase. Like I might do a couple pairs of earrings or maybe one more bracelet or maybe a simple necklace. But other than that, we're almost out of beads. Like I went through the beads on this, I th these projects went through the beads. So, um, oh, I also wanna show you real quick. So those of you who are not following me on um, social media, like Facebook for either my personal account or my um, Jody's Jewelry Creations, I made this guy. He's a little crab. He's got little crab claws. His The hearts are his claws. Isn't he cute? And he's got like little rhinestone eyes. So cute. So I think I would like you guys to tell me if this is something you would like to see how to make. Um, I found a picture on Pinterest and I'm like, I wonder if I can do it. So I kind of did it, I think. So if you want to see how to do it, let me know and I'll do a tutorial for it. Otherwise, I don't want to, <coughs> excuse me. You guys probably think I'm like bug and like animal, like crazy, which I, I, I guess I am. Um, anyway, <laughs> if you want to see how to make it, let me know. If not, tell me okay because whoever like if I when I tally up the votes yes there's a no's um whoever wins is gonna get it so it's either gonna be all, all the no's then I just won't even waste anyone's time or if there's some yeses in there then I'm gonna do one because then I know there's a few people who want to see how to make it all right so anyway enough of that let's turn this around and let's make that bracelet for the blooming branches um bargain bead box for April. Right back. Okay, I'm not sure what happened, but I was stringing right along and all of a sudden I happened to look up and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not recording. So something happened, fixed it. I undid everything I did <laughs> so you guys could see. Um, the only thing I didn't undo is I did put a head pin through this last rose quartz. I used a couple, um, I think five or six millimeter jump rings to hook to the back of the clasp and to this because we're going to do the same kind of flower here. So let me cut off some of our craft wire, 18 gauge Softlex craft wire. You can use any 18 gauge wire, you guys. So you don't have to buy Softlex brand. Um, I actually did, this was, um, it came in something else that I had. So it was one of my little things I got and I've never used it and I actually really like it. I was always a beetalon person um, when it came to the wire, but this this is really good wire. All right, so I'm bent that over so I can make my eye my one end of my eye pin there, and I think we want that just a little bit smaller. There we go. And then let's make our loop. So I think it was when Cheeto kept walking back and forth. I think something got bumped and it just kind of stopped. So that's all right. We got it all worked out now. I wasn't too far along, so it's not like, not like a, you know, we were missing a lot. All right, so let's get that strung on. So we're making our flower the same way. We're going to use this little purple bead at the top here to hold, hold it all together just like that. You know, adjust your little leaves if, if you want, or if you don't have these, that's okay. You can still do this. You can do this without this, okay? You, you can you can absolutely just bead. You know, you don't need one of these. But it, like I said, if you do want one, um, Auntie's Beads is where I got them from. Or if you just Google large, like, tassel caps, because I believe that's really technically what it is, um, you should be able to find them pretty easily. And you know, you might even find them on Amazon and get them like within a day or two, and then you don't have to wait forever. But um, I'm sure they have all different kinds of sizes out and shapes and things out there that I have no idea that's, that's even out there. All right, so let me go ahead and do our little wrap here, just like so. Until I just can't wrap anymore and I don't want to do it too too tight because I want to break that bead. You guys on the last video saw me absolutely kill that one bead. It was like pretty much dust by the time I got done with it. All right and then we're just going to carefully pinch down that end of our wire there. 
All right, and let's use our little our little um, jump ring and hook it all together. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And now I have some of that wire left over from our necklace. Remember when I said I was gonna have a little bit left over? Enough to do a bracelet, well here it is. So let's put our little, um, I get in. There's a hole there, Jody. There we go. Put our little crimp tube on. Put that through our loop. And just feed our crimp tube up over top of both strands. Make sure those wires aren't crossed. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. All right. And then let's crimp that down. Okay. I'm having a hard time crimping today. I don't know what my deal is. There we go. Okay, now we're crimped and we're ready to roll. All right, so we have that. And then let's go ahead and let's do some of these purple ones. String him on. Let's put a little bead cap on. I think I want to do three of them here. I don't even remember how I had it, honestly. Like, I'm just now I'm just going, I'm going rogue, guys. Just doing it gonna do what I want to do. All right. So I had to open up the other window in my room so that he would get off the table and not walk back and forth because you guys have seen his furry back I'm sure enough today. So all right. So we got three of those. I think what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to end up hanging a couple of bellflowers here from this little loop, the little metal loop right there. Because I think that would look really cute just hanging off the, the end there. All right, so there's that. Let's put our other bead cap on. And then let's do a couple of one of these little peach ones. Let's do a citrine one. It's our last citrine one. And peach. And let's go right into one of these big giant guys. Our big disco ball. Put a rhinestone spacer in between and do another one. All right, now let's see how much we have here because with all the big stuff we have going on, we're not gonna need a lot more beads. All right, so we still have room for a couple more. So then I definitely want to use the green one. So let's put a couple white ones in. Let's do a white one here. Oh, that's purple. Use our last green one and a white one like that. And let's check it again because we're getting close, I'm sure. And just a, probably another bead or so. Let's do, let's do one more purple one. You know what, actually, let's do a couple of these little purple ones. There, and I'm gonna double check it now. I think we can go one more of those. Okay, so we're using up all of our little onesies. We had three onesies here, so we're using those up, so that's wonderful. So we got that, and I had to cut my last crimp tube off, the last one I had on here, because I um, wasn't recording. <laughs> so that way you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, and we have our other end of our toggle, so we need that. Go ahead and put that on. Put this on. And 
And like I said, I'm not gonna really fight with this. So if I'm not gonna be able to get it through any beads, it's gonna be fine. We just wanna get it through this other, the, the, through this crimp tube and not really worry about anything else because I don't wanna have to worry about it really. Okay, so there's that. And I like where that's ending. So that's gonna be pretty good right there. I think that's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and crimp this down. And I still have enough of this wire for one earring. So we're gonna save that. I mean, look at that, that's perfect. I can do an earring with that. And let's trim off that tail. There we go, saving that piece. All right, so now we have that part of our bracelet. Now I wanna hang some dangles. So let's just take a look what this looked like closed here. Okay that's gonna be pretty. And now I do wanna hang some dangles from like right here. I think it would look really cute. So let's use some of these flowers because we definitely need some of those and a leaf, we we'll put a leaf on there. So I'm gonna get a jump ring out for that. Probably do a couple of them, honestly. <clears throat> so maybe what we could even do is to kind of stagger the length of those leaves. Let's put it on this head pin or this eye pin, like so. One of them. Oh, you know what? That thing is too wide. So we'll put it on a jump ring at the end of an eye pin. Fine, do this, close that back up. There we go. I messed that one up. Okay, there. And we're gonna need some head pins. So I have some of those here. Let's just grab some. Okay. And so the eye pin, let's do one of these little purple guys because we don't want it to be too long, but we want it to be just long enough to um, like make a kind of like a layer. All right, so there's that one. And we're just gonna do a simple loop. Just like that. And then we can use our jump ring connect those two together. So we have our leaf. Here we go. All right. So there's one. And then the other one's just going to have just a jump ring. another. Then for our head pins, let's do, let's do one of these purples. I think I have to close these windows. It's starting to get chilly. It's been nice having them open like that. And then let's do a little peach one on top. There we go. That looks cute. And then we'll just do another simple loop. Let's do one more flower and we're going to do the purple.
purple again. Okay, and on top of this one, let's do our last little green one. Sure, loop closes all the way there. Cute. These are gonna be cute. All right. So let's grab some. Let's grab our jump rings because we're definitely gonna want to use those. All right, and we can hang it right inside this little metal loop. Oh, and maybe we can hang a flower on the other side of that. So we don't have to put so many jump rings through there. I really want it to look kind of bunchy and layered. That's where I'm going. That's what I'm going with. All right. And then we have this one. We can do the same thing with. Just open it up. I'm going to put this little flower on with it. And let's just hang it right on that metal loop. There we go. All right, so let's see what we have. Oh, yes, that is cute, you guys. Oh, my goodness, I love it. All right, so here's this. Oops, put that on backwards. There we go. Here's our bracelet, and I think that looks adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this off and try it on for you. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, here it is. I have it on, and it looks really cute. I made it a little tighter so that I can, you know, it's easier for me to wear to work if it's flat down here at the bottom. But I think that maybe I should have had this turned around the other way. I might go ahead and fix that. But then again, I might not because it's okay. Maybe I'll add some length to it or something. But this is genuinely what I wanted. But if I did move it to this way, then this is dangling from the bottom. So I think either way, I think it, would, it turned out cute. So here's our bracelet. And of course it matches our little necklace. And um, I think I'm gonna be just about done. I might have a couple more little projects that I can do um, from the Bargain Bead Box Blooming Branches. But then the rest will just go back into my stash and we're, we're going to be ready to do a showcase soon. And I think um, I'm going to do a showcase separately for all the all the makers because they deserve their own spotlight instead of me doing one big giant showcase for all of them. So um, stay tuned for that. That should be coming up pretty soon. It might not be until I get back from vacation. We'll see how ambitious I am prior to then. But I hope you guys have a great night. I am actually done now for the night. It's hair washing night, so I got to get going. But much love to you all, and um, I will talk to you again very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.